Hey, what's up guys? This 2010 Kia Rio was recently deemed uncleanable by the previous owner. And when you see the inside, you'll understand why. Well, not surprisingly, when the new owner opened the door and saw just how filthy this car is, he brought it straight to me. We'll find out later in the video if it really is uncleanable, though there's no question that when you treat the entire car like an ashtray, it's not going to be an easy task to clean it. Between the piles of garbage and nasty stains in the seats, it's no wonder the previous owner just sold the car instead of dealing with his mess. The only good thing here though is that it's a small car, so there's slightly less of a mess to deal with today. Alright guys, well I don't know about you, but I for one am excited to see what I can do with this car today and see if I can get it looking brand new again. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. Okay, getting to work on the car today, and while the paint isn't overly dirty, the tires sure are, and they also need to be replaced as the front ones are nearly bald, but I'm sure the new owner will be taking care of that soon enough. Well, that and replacing all the busted hubcaps. Moving to the windshield now, and when there's leaves and stuff stuck in the windshield cowl, I would usually pull most of it out by hand first, but this stuff was pretty stuck in there and the crevices were tight, so blasting it out with the pressure washer was the only option. Now as I foam up the car, the only other thing I know about it is that the new owner picked it up pretty cheap obviously, but that it's definitely still got a fair bit of life left in it as it's only got a shade over 100,000 kilometers on it, although it does need a little bit of work like new tires, a new front bumper, new hubcaps, and the hood release is also broken. Alright, well this car was what I like to sarcastically call extra nice to me today as it came with two full sets of floor mats to clean, including carpet ones that were really dirty, but despite that I do think they'll come perfectly clean today as they're made with a nice thick pile, 
Unlike the carpet inside the car, which is absolute crap and is going to be a huge challenge to make look new again. Okay guys, time to start on this dumpster, I mean the inside of the car, and that first starts with removing the front seats which only reveals even more garbage and mess underneath. So after a few moments looking at it all and shaking my head in disbelief, I'll get started removing it all, being sure to separate out the recycling so I can save it for Mike to take back to Sarkan as he uses the money to buy Timbits. Now as I clean out the ashtray slash storage compartment here, which is truly disgusting, I'm reminded of the Pontiac G5 that I did a few years back that had a similar situation in it, along with some lacy underwear and a few other sharp and sticky surprises. Now if you guys haven't seen that one yet, I'll link it here, or you can just search up nastiest car ever on the channel and see if you think that title was appropriate for that car. Spoiler alert, it was. Working my way around with the vacuum, and like I mentioned earlier, the carpet in this car is absolutely terrible and really isn't carpet at all. It's a Velcro-like material that dirt and debris just sticks to, so getting it perfectly clean is always a huge challenge, but it certainly helps having a vacuum that has a ton of suction power. vacuuming these seats now and you guys can see just how dirty they are and that there was obviously some food or some sort of liquid spilled on them at some point. So if you were sitting there and thinking, I wonder what this car smells like? Well, just be glad you're not here to experience it firsthand because it's disgusting. It's a mixture of stale cigarette smoke and old food and means I'll be wearing my respirator today until it's clean and smells better.
starting on the seats now, which I always do first so they have the most amount of time to dry out. And it's always a good sign to see the solution turn a slightly different color when agitating, as that means the stains are being loosened up. So I'm hopeful that I can get the seats perfectly clean today, though sometimes I do need to repeat the entire process to be sure that they're perfect. moving inside the car and if you're at all curious about the products and tools that I use to transform these disgusting cars back to brand new, well I've got everything linked down in the description for you. Some are from my own site detailgeekautocare.com and the rest are from Amazon, but rest assured that everything I use and recommend is top notch quality at reasonable prices. That was the whole reason I started auto care in the first place and something that will never change. Here's everything the extractor pulled out of the Rio today. Honestly not as bad as I expected it to be, but it's still pretty gross. Turning my attention to all the interior plastics and to get them clean I'm using my all purpose cleaner diluted 4 to 1 which is heavy strength and then my McCulloch MC1375 steamer which seems to always be sold out on Amazon every time I look. I guess you guys have taken my word for how much fun these things are to use. But anyways, it doesn't take more than a minute or so to have each section looking new again. Moving up to the dash and I'm honestly not sure how a person manages to get dirt smeared all over this area, 
Maybe it was a pack of wild kids that did it, but either way, the mess won't take long to clean. But it does appear the plastics are a bit scratched here, so they unfortunately won't look perfect when I'm done. Okay, to boost the depth and gloss of this black paint, I'm using my ceramic spray coating, which as you've probably noticed is my go-to paint protection product, mostly because of how easy it is to use. You just spray some into a microfiber towel, apply it to the section, wait about a minute, and then remove it. It's super easy to use, doesn't take long to do your entire vehicle, and will last for several months, leaving your paint slick and glossy. All right guys, well nine hours is what it took to transform this Kia Rio from a disgusting mess into a pretty solid looking car and there's no question it is ready for a new life with a new owner and it'll hopefully get treated a little bit better than it was before. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this transformation, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.